Hey guys, it's Jaeger262 back with more American Challenge from World of Tanks. And <laughs> this is becoming, it's day five, and it's becoming slower and slower work, which is obvious. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. The more you do, the harder it gets. But, oh man, is it getting hard. I have <laughs> some of you guys telling me that you're already done with it. Um, that's crazy. I mean... <laughs> Good for you guys. If anybody else is out there and you've already finished it, you are much better players than I am. I am. I'm not even halfway through stage six, and the grind is real for me. But I thought day five, third video, gonna try to grind as well. I still have some of this premium time left over from part five. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get the TS five because. <laughs> this grind is too much too too much um, I might be able to get to 70% discount but that's it and I'm not gonna pay to have the TS5 while you guys out there are getting it for free so I think I'm calling this one five days early but we'll see how much I can do in that time Uh, waiting for it to load. I do have to say that that's a weird little thing that's been happening, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed it. But ever since this challenge started, instead of getting into games the normal speed or even faster, we get into games slower, and I don't know if that's because there's too many people playing or not enough. And I know that really doesn't make sense either way, but I don't know. Like, I feel. A lot of people are obviously playing tier 9 and tier 10 tanks if they're going to do the American challenge. And so the lower tiers, because I'm doing this whole challenge in tier 6 vehicles, which, which I'm sure you noticed, but that's probably why it's taken me so long to do it. <laughs> I'm grinding just two tier 6s and then a couple of tier 7s. I don't really want to use any of my tier 8s for this, because I don't think that they'll be able to help. And so because of that, it is taking me a rather long time to complete this. And, where's it going with that? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I feel like the queue times are a little bit longer. Not terribly so, but just a little bit. Because um, all the high tier gameplay... I don't know if it's actually better to play at high tiers. I don't have a tier 9. Not really close to any tier 9s. So, which is so, so sad to say. I play this completely free to play. And I've been playing it casually for 7 years now. And I still don't have a single tier 9. And that's just because I don't play my tier 8 tanks. I don't like tier 8. I don't like the way tier 8's matched up. Um, Grid 01 and the Tiger 2. And while those are both good vehicles at top tier, facing tier 10 opponents with them is a suicide, so I tend to stick to the lower tiers, or at least I know what I'm doing. Like, I feel pretty confident about this game, but I hope I don't keep those words. Top tier to KB85, my only opponent being a Tiger 131. I think I'll be just fine. Now there are other heavies, there's a KB-1 and then BDR, I think that's all. Yeah, BDR G1. I don't know. I'll double check. Um, I don't really know how those are going to impact the game. I'm just, I'm trying to see if they're actually going to try to hold this position. But they shouldn't. Neither of them have, none of those tanks have very, has very good frontal armor. Especially not against the Continental Weapon. The one I'm using. So we'll see. We'll see what their play is. And now that I say that, I don't have a very good. Oh no, it's a KV-222. Oh, I don't know my tanks very well. Now that changes things. I think that thing is crazy good frontal armor for his tier. 
I mean, okay, well, maybe not insane, but, like, you know, it's a lot. It's heavily armored, to say the least. I'm not gonna pull up. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna let that M3 bite it, but... I'm not gonna push up yet. I'm gonna wait for them to come here. Just lost the, uh, M3. Kinda sucks. Supported by a Panzer IV. I don't have gun depression, so moving up really wouldn't be optimal. I mean. uh. Both miss her shots. other two heavies are above me now. Yeah, I don't want to mess with this T-3485. It's going to outgun me every single time. Which is good to know if you're a T-3485 player, uh, if you ever find yourself on the uh, opposite end of the KV-85, you will be able to pen them pretty reliably frontally. I'm just waiting for them to like leave. Okay. I thought they were so armored. Wow! I can't believe. Thank you, RNG, uh, for that bounce. It's not gonna happen twice, though. Yeah. Now I'm stuck here. Can't bring my gun down. Please, team. I like I thank RNG and then it immediately fucked me over. That's just how RNG works. It giveth and it taketh. It's taking so much! Oh my fucking god! That should not have bounced. It hit the fucking stupid driver port. <laughs> now that is supremely annoying. Oh my god. RNG screwed me so hard on that. <laughs> For no reason. It should just go straight to the front. It bounces off the stupid driver viewport. Look, you can see on his tank where it bounced. That's it. That's my shell right there. That's so annoying. Oh, that's what you get. That's what I get for getting cocky, being overconfident. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, well, I mean, at least it's a win. Could have been a better win, 15 to 11, but, you know, I'll take it. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> I should be playing World of Tanks to, so, like, just play the game and have fun, but, uh, I'm doing it for the mission. You know, a thousand base experience, but it turns into, what, 715. Because I got that premium account. That's another thing that I thought would help. So, since a premium account gives you more base experience, I was kind of hoping that <laughs> the challenge would take the premium, but it doesn't because that would be unfair to free-to-play players. But I was hoping. I was really hoping. I mean, the good news is I'm not losing any money while I'm playing these challenges. So that's always fun. But that's why I don't play Tier 8.
so much money playing those vehicles. So much money. Especially when I see tier 10s, because I feel like they're kind of useless. Well, now I'm going to change this to the IS. Get some IS gameplay going. Get some IS action. See, I load into a game pretty quick. I think it's just the tier. I love the singing for this map soundtrack, the Polish map. I love the music too. It's all very good. It's just, this is one of my favorite new maps. Channel 46 gets it. <laughs> nice music. Oh, yeah. Another IS. I'm just gonna follow him. We're both using the same gun. Tank. Hopefully he's better at it than I am. Or worse. I mean, if he's worse at it than I am, then I can just take damage. You know, take all of his damage or kills. But uh, I prefer to play with like, better players than me. Just in case something happens and I completely mess up, which as you guys are watching me, you know I do that quite often. That I can at least rely on a team that can carry me. Ow. Oh, that's aggressive. I regret that. Wow. There's two enemy... I didn't even look at the enemy team. The four ISs are going to square up right here. The little factory. Really try to injure my IS buddy. Yes. It's remember music of Brazilian. I guess he's a Brazilian player. Or something. I don't know what that means. Yes, Brazilian music is like this. I don't know. For anybody wondering, it is Polish. <laughs> this is a Polish map, but I, don't, I really, I really wish this other guy would stop pushing me. I mean, I know he's just adjusting his tank. It's not his fault, but come on. Wait, I don't think that's another IS. Oh no, yeah it is. Okay, we have a KV-122 on our team as well. <laughs> KV-2 just made the biggest mistake of his life. Not really, I mean... Oh no! I just made the biggest mistake of my life! He's not back up. God. We are preoccupied now with that crossfire. But the Stir Emil is covering our six and just killed one of the ISs. So. Thank you to the Stir Emil player on our team. But I gotta get my head back in the game. I just took one in the fucking turret. Man, that hurt. I mean, for 357. Look. Now Projectos are gonna harass us. Oh, God. The Tiger P is sniping too now. From that side. 
Maybe KB2 just poking his head out. Got spotted. God, please. Don't let me be a target across the map. Really hoping that they just push into our base. This is going to be a loss for us. Ugh, I, don't, I don't know why I made that shot. It was a mistake in half. That's it, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting too antsy. I'm worried about what's happening over here. I'm trying to use this dead IS as cover. Hit him though. I didn't think I was gonna hit him. I thought that was gonna be a miss for sure. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're still singing. I did not know that. I'm not really saying going to battle too. Here comes another projecto. I got your back, bro. I hope I have your back. Oh my god, I don't. Oh hey, it's a Brazilian guy. I thought I heard the ones who decided to. What? Ricochet. Super left. Oh! So that was a massive misplay on my part, just because, actually I don't know how that was, a, like, I don't know how that bounced, but whatever. Monsieur Emile is doing God's work. You know what's so funny, I used to have a Sure Emile, and I hated it so much, I immediately sold it. And it's like one of the best, I think, destroyers in the game. I'm just that bad at it. I really hope this guy doesn't die. I don't know, he's facing the wrong way. Alright, it's all down to the wire on the T21. See what he's able to pull off. Probably not a lot. So this is a pretty bad loss. Um, six to fifteen. That's bad. And I can't help but feel like a lot of it was my fault. Me and the other IS should have. Well, I mean, there's nothing we can do about the crossfire. But we really should have pushed. The IS and push through that back instead of just staying there and fighting them. Even if we had pushed through, I don't know if it would have really mattered. And that's the game. That means I didn't get any experience for this. Or if I did, Really not a lot. Yeah. I didn't get any experience for that. 352. That's bad. This sure, meal only got 548. Not fair. Not fair. That's why I don't like the loss mechanics. And all the tanks. That's sure a meal should have gotten way more than 548. But he doesn't because it was a loss. <laughs> Sucks. I deserved my 300. <laughs> all I did was hit heavy tanks the whole time. Just slapping them. Instead of like... Moving forward or... You know, advancing my team. Although, you know... 
Hey guys, alright, so this game is well into it. This is going to be the last game for today because World of Tanks just crashed again and immediately deleted two games that I played uh, before this one. So, no, I'm not going to edit that out. I'm just going to put these two videos together, but that's why this mission's, you know, already well underway. I'm not really doing anything yet. If anybody knows any possible solution for the constant client-based crashes of World of Tanks, please, please let me know. This is making filming for it so hard, and it's so hard to jump back into a game when everybody's already dug into positions, your team's already, you know, moving forward with the game. just it's difficult to play with it constantly crashing and I'm not saying it's difficult like oh I play worse because of the crashes I'm just saying I'm not as combat effective as I should be because I'm coming in late So I'm going to try to do something better. There's no way I can be in the top 10 experience on my team when I haven't done anything yet in this game. It's like this whole mission was just wasted, or this whole game was just wasted because the client continues to crash. Alright. Oh, picked up a kill. Anyway. There's a church. Who also looks like he had a bit of a crash situation. Yeah, I feel bad for that guy. I'm lucky I was able to load back in. To be honest. I mean, it's not all bad, you know. Like, I did load back into the game. And I am playing now. Could be like that guy, which I've had happen before, where it crashes in the middle of a game instead of at the beginning. So, for all the bitching and moaning I'm doing, this wasn't too bad. What just gets me so upset is that it deletes the recordings too. I don't know how it does that or why, but because the game crashes, the camera's no longer recording and it corrupts the file, and so can't play it, can't use it, which is why. This is going to be a very short video because I don't want to record any more games where they're just not going to show up. But the game that you missed was top tier IS1 on Abbey. I think it was a defeat. I can't remember. I didn't see the stats for it by Artie, but you know, not before the heavies on the team did a lot of damage. Oh no, it was a victory. Okay, so 759 experience for that one, so. Still moving up the mission here. Only 521 base experience for the limited time we're in the game. But that should put us in the ballpark of. Ah, I was going to say 8,000, that's why I wanted to wait. I was going to say 8,000, and I want to get disappointed. Only 7,000, but I'll take it. So anyway, that's it for me for day five. Again, I might throw up some videos, some more videos later. If World of Tanks, if I can record enough where World of Tanks doesn't crash, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll definitely be doing a video on Stage Seven when I get there, if I get there, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned for the rest of the American Challenge. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of that, or if you've enjoyed any of the videos previously. And throw up a like if you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.